What is going on guys? In this video, we are going to learn everything about Room Database in Android. We will learn complete architecture, how we can integrate database with our to-do application, how we will create the DAO class, how to create entities, and how we can do the CRUD operation with the database. So even after restarting the app, the data will be persisted there in the database. So without any ado, let's get started with the video. Before jumping right into the code, first we will see how we will implement our app with the room database. Writing the code will not take much time. Let's understand first. So here we will say to do app with room DB. So I'll select canvas and I will show you first I will add an image of the app screenshot. So this is our 2D application we have built. We have input box where we are taking the input from the user. So we are storing the data in memory. So this is the app, we are storing all the data in memory. So whenever we restart the application, this whole application will restart. That means this all data will be deleted. So we have to store somewhere else. Where somewhere else we have to store in some database so that when we restart the application, the data will come from that database. So we will do that. In our architecture, what we have done, we have UI and then we have view model. We have view model over here. And if you remember, we have to do manager in the code you can see over here we have this is the ui this is the view model and this is the to do manager we have created from ui we were communicating with view model we are sending some event view model will send some data so from view model we were storing it into to do manager and to do manager will give all the data to view model so this we were doing in to do manager we are storing in memory so now what we have to do we have to create a database let's say this is a room database over here room db till now this was our app when we restart uh, the data we're going now we will communicate with room db so how we can do that how we can implement room db room db provides a level of abstraction over the sqlite database so we don't have to worry about sqlite database we have to just implement the room data library and we can call the all the function like update delete everything we can do what we require to implement the room database so that is the question so first what we will do we will delete this to do manager we don't require this now we will use room database so from view model we will talk to room database so how we can talk so room database provides a DAO class so we have to create a DAO class which is a data access object so DAO it is a data access object we can call it as data access object let's minimize it so this is the DAO now with the help of this DAO we will communicate from view model to database so what does this DAO do it will get all the entities from DB so what do you mean by entities? Entities means just the table. So DAO will get all the entities. That means all the table entities from the DB. So this is the task of DAO. DAO will get all the entities from DB. So we'll get the data if there is something. Let's say we have to do table. We'll get the data to the DAO. Now we add something. So it should be stored in room database. So it will do that also. What it will do? We can say persist changes back to DB. So whatever we do from this DAO, it will persist those changes to the DB. So whenever the app is restarted, again it will get all entities from the DB, then we'll get the data. This is how things works. So first thing what we have to create in the code, we have to create a DAO class. Let's say we have to do DAO. In this class, what we will have, we'll have some methods like get all data. You can see in to do manager, we have those methods get all data, add to do, delete to do. So here in DAO also we will have those. So get all data will return all the data from room database. We will have another method that will be add to do. We will have another method that will be delete to do. Also we can have update to do. So you can do anything that you want to do in the database. That means all the CRUD operation you can do from here. For this video we will do add and delete. Update also you can do. I will show you how to do that. This thing we will do. So we need one instance of the DAO class. How we can get the instance of the DAO class? This library provides. Whatever library we are implementing, room data library, that provides the DAO class. So how we can do that? We have to create a database class also. So here let's say to do database we have created. There what we have to do? We have to provide a database name that will be anything you can give to do database and second thing it will provide is get DAO. it will provide the instance of the DAO class so that we can access this method from view model so these thing we have to create that is to do database and DAO class so here we have the database we have the DAO. now we need the entity that means table so we require entity as well if you see over here if i do like this a bit up and let's increase this size now we have entities what are the entities I have already told entities are the tables only the library provides how we can declare the entity but those are tables for this video we will have to do table 
so what does this entity does is from and to room database so we can give like this get and set values field values so the work of entity is only to get and set the values if you go to this to do we have this data class over here id title and created at so it will get the id get the title get the created at or set the id set the title set the created at that's it if you declare this to do as entity it will set the data or get the data that is the task of entity so these entities from where we will get we'll get it from the dao for this app we will have entity that will be to do and it will have some field id title and created at that's it so in this way we can implement entire room database we have to create database class we have to create dao class and we have to create we have to declare entity so that we can communicate now from view model we can just communicate with the dao how we can access the dao that it will provide you can see get dao over here it will provide us the dao to view model and with the help of that dao let's say to do dao dot we can do get all data we can do add to do we can do delete to do so we can do anything in this way it will work now we have the different layer we have the ui layer over here we have the database layer over here they will communicate with each other whenever we restart the app the data will always be there this is how we will implement the room database let's go back to the code and implement these things so first thing i will do is i will get the room dependency android let's go to this android developers room jetpack so here if you go you can see dependencies over here if you have groovy you can select that i have kotlin and i will copy this implementation annotation processor as well as this capped i will use capped you, if you are using ksp you can use this but i will copy this all and go to gradle build at gradle and paste it below so this capped if we have not declared we can declare over here id kotlin capped in this way it will be declared and we can use this so let's sync now so our library is added let's close everything and start implementing room so if you see over here we need entity we need dao we need database we have deleted to do manager so we'll do same thing let's delete this to do manager we don't require this delete anyway we have this to do dot kt this fake also we can remove this is the data class so we have to declare entity for this to do so how we can do that we have added annotation processor so room provides us annotation to declare that is entity so you can see at the rate entity so this is declared so we have to declare primary key as well so id we can declare as primary key if you know database we should have primary key in each table and we will set it auto generate to true so that every time we input it will be automatically generated we don't have to worry about anything we just have to annotate it so we have to give the default value to kotlin so let's say zero now we have declared the entity that means so let's uh, color it red so this step is done now let's create to do dao so what we can do we can create a different package let's say db package and in that package we will put the dao class so new kotlin class file it's a to do dao declaring dao what we have to do first we will make it interface not the class and then we will declare it with annotation that is dao so now it is a dao so what we have to do we have to create this method get all data add to do delete to do we just have to define it so we don't have to write any implementation just define it let's say first function get all to do which will return live data of list of to do so in view model we require live data so this get all to do will return the list of to do from the database why we are using this to do because this is an entity we have declared entity otherwise we can't use it this is entity we can declare another method that is add to do it won't return anything we will pass to do that means the entity and we will have delete to do we have to pass id that's it so here we can see we have done get all data add to do and delete to do now how it will understand that this is for get this is for add this is for delete so we have to make understand the room database get all to do means add some logic and get me all the to do so we'll add one query over here for getting what we can do we can do select star from to do so it will get all the data from to do this is the simple table command we have to give select star from to do that means it will get all the to do's in a list same thing for add we can do insert if you know the database command insert into to do something something so this is the command to insert but room provides her directly what we can do we can use add insert that's it it will understand automatically we don't have to write the query so here also we can use delete if you see we can use delete but how it will understand so we can say add query here also i will give query and i will say delete from to do where id equals where id of the to do equals to the provided id so how we can give that we have to get a colon and id 
that means it will take from parameter if you click over here it will take over here that means if the to do id is equals to our id that means delete it in this way DAO interface is also done so here we can take it it is done now to get the access of this DAO in view model we have to create this database class also let's create that over here in db kotlin class file let's say to do database here we will define so how to define a database same way we have to define a database annotation and we have to provide the entities so it takes some parameter if you see over here it takes entities and the version so this is optional to so entities i have to provide in the array what are the entities in this code we have only one entity that is to do entity to do class in this way it will take the entity let's give the version that is one so this is our first version so let's say one database is declared so this database class will be abstract class always because we will add abstract method which will not be implemented by us now here in the to do database if you see what we require the name and DAO so let's declare a name in companion object so that we can access it without object so it is a static constant value name equals to let's say to do db we can give any name so let's say to do db in this way we have created the name now we have to create a get DAO so that we'll get the DAO so this will be abstract method fun to do DAO let's say get to do DAO and it will just return to do DAO so how we'll get to know that to do DAO because we have already declared this as an annotation DAO that means the database will understand we have to return to do DAO so it will automatically return we don't have to implement this method that's all we have to do we have created entity we have created DAO and we have created the database as well now from view model we have to access those so let's go to the view model so here we have to change a bit so here what I will do I will delete this mutable live data I don't require this so this is the variable we are exposing here what I will do I will get directly from to do DAO dot get all so how we can get the to do DAO from database but how we will get first we have to create the instance of database this instance of database we will create at one view model can be created multiple times so the instance of room database we have to create one time so for that what I will do I will create a class which we will call as main application or you can do a main activity on create also but it's better to do a different class that is main application let's say it will extend from the application class so that it will be called while we run the app every time it will stay entirely till we close the app so here I will create a static object so that we can access it from view model so let in it where to do database and I will override on create method so how we can get the access of this database from room DB so room DB provide us a builder so that is room dot database builder we have to pass some parameter that is context let's say application context second thing is class so what is the class that is to do database class.java and third thing is name what is the name of the database we have declared there in companion object so we can access it to do dot name so you can see over here it is saying we require room database but we are getting to do database so what is wrong if you go over here we have declared the database but we have not extended it from room database so that it will get all the feature of room database now in main application the error will be gone so we have to build it it will return us to do database we can we can assign it to this variable so for this main application we have to declare it in manifest that this is our class here android name as dot main application like we declare the activity this is declared as main application so that it will be called on the start of the application now in view model how we will get that we will declare a variable that will be to do DAO from where we will get this we will get it from main application dot since we have declared this as companion object we got the to do database and we get the get to do DAO method so from this method we will get the to do DAO here we can use now we want the list we will get all to do we don't require this we don't require this get all to do as well because we are directly getting we require this add to do and we require delete to do let's remove everything from there to do DAO dot add to do same thing we were doing to do in the manager to do ID will be automatically generated so title equals to let's say title and created at I will pass as date from instant dot now import this in this way we can add the to do and for delete to do you know to do DAO dot delete to do we have to pass the id in the DAO we have this method you can see get all to do add to do delete to do that's it it should work but one more thing is there if you run the app now you can see over here we have got the error for created at why 
it is saying you can consider adding a type converter for it so database is not understanding how to store that so what we can do we have to create a converters that is also important while implementing room database that is converter class so we can say over here we have to create converter class as well so for this video what we will have we will have date converter so that we can convert date into long variable it will store the long variable in DB and while we are fetching it will convert it to date let's create converter converters let's say we can use this for multiple types also so we have to just declare a method that will be from date so from date will take date and it will return long that's it so what we will do return from date we'll convert it to so you can see it will provide the long that means time we can do and to date if we are doing from long let's say time long we can return date so from date we'll return to long variable from long variable we'll return date we can pass this time it will provide us the date now this converter we can use in the database but how it will understand we have annotation it should be converter and it should be also type converter now database will understand these are the converter class but in database we have to declare these converters so here database we have declared we have to declare type converters where are the type converters we can pass it as converters class that's it in the converter class we have declared all the converter so database will understand from date to date whatever it is now let's run it now we have the ui that means uh, it is not crashing let's add our first to do let's say first to do add it the app crashed why let's see so if you go over here in the log cat we have the error what will be the error you can see over here cannot access database on the main thread since it may potentially log the ui that means if you go to view model here we are adding the to do directly in the main thread that means whenever we click on add button it is trying to add in that thread but it may take some time let's say we are doing some complex database operation we are doing heavy task let's say i have one thread over here that is a ui thread so ui is being built whenever we click on a button it called some method so it is a heavy task let's say let's say that database operation we have to do in here database operation we have to do but this is a heavy task so this heavy task we can't do on ui thread it will be blocked for some time so here it won't execute anything something after this it will not be executed till this is done so that's why we should not block it what we have to do from here we have to create a different thread so that it will do the database operation here and it will get back to this whenever it is completed so it will not be blocked so we have kotlin coroutines so here we can use view model scope dot launch and here let's pass dispatchers dot io now we can do heavy task over here let's cut it out and inside this launch we can paste it that means now it is on different thread let's say we can do same thing over here in the delete also this is a heavy task so you can do this over here also now it is on different thread it will not block the main thread let's run it now if i add my first to do it is added successfully second added now let's close the application and rerun close it rerun they are still there third one they are still there in this way we can implement the room database if you want to see how data is stored android studio provides us some tools you can see over here we have view in view let's go to tools windows and let's go to app inspection so here you can see all the data see in databases we have to do database and we have one table that is to do table one master table is required for room database that is automatically created this is our table to do table here we have id title and created ad if you double click over here it will show the data and you can click on live update over here we'll see the data you can see first to do and third if you add some more it will be automatically added over here if i delete this it will be deleted from here as well and id is being automatically generated if you notice over here one six seven eight in this way you can do database operation and you can see over here live updates how it is storing you can see long values stored for the created ad title and everything is being stored this is completed immediately it will be shown so in this way we can implement room database in our application this is very easy if you understand the concept that's why i more focused on the concept than coding so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you on the next video bye bye